What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Long Dark. My name is Splattercat where we are hanging out for a little bit and actually I need to get this meat up out of my inventory. We're about to go through a hungry period, I can tell you that much. We are not looking good on food right now, but hopefully I can pick something else up along the way. Uh, do I have any leather to repair that with? I don't. I need to repair some of our stuff though. Our gear is not looking great and if it takes another hit from a bear or whatever, I think we're going to suffer some adverse effects. So let me go ahead and I'm going to repair this on up. I'm going to repair it twice because it's pretty beat and it's our best piece of equipment. So I think it's a good idea to get that square. Oh, I failed. Good Lord. I wasn't expecting to fail right there. Our character is actually pretty good at sewing by comparison to all the stuff that he's not good at. Uh, shooting being principal among those things. That dude got a wobbly barrel. This dude need to go see a doctor if he can't hold up like a four pound gun. It's just like, hold it up, man. Hold it up, dude. You can do this. I believe in you. I will more than likely tear up... Oh, we got a log right there, too. A firewood log. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to harvest some of this gear before we go to sleep for the night. But yeah, our food supply is looking a little bit iffy right now. And until we get that all nice and banged out, I think we are going to have problems. We're going to have big, big problems. I think we won't have to worry about food till later on. In the day, if we kill the bear, that's going to be like the ultimate load of food that we're going to be able to get our hands on. But for right now, which of my gear is like super messed up? I assume it's just this, right? Yeah, it's just our coat that's got a lot of damage to it. And so I'm going to harvest these pants off. Hunger's looking bad. Hunger's looking real bad, but there's bunnies and stuff around. I'm sure we can make it work. Are the lights on right now? I can't tell if the lights are on. Let me drink some water real quick, too. I mean, as a true desperation food, we can make a bunch of tea and a bunch of coffee, and we can just drink that till we feel better. But I don't really like that as a solution. That's a bit much, even for me. Let's go ahead and sleep it off, and we'll see what happens here. I think we're going to be pretty hungry, though, in the morning. That is my estimation. I was expecting our food supply to last a little bit longer, and I didn't actually prioritize food because I didn't check that wolf meat. Uh, the wolf meat ended up being a lot more rotten than expected. And so, unfortunately, we just got to live with that. Did I wake up completely and totally awake right now? Am I fully up? I'm fully up. Okay. Well, I think this might be a decent opportunity for us to go out and see if there's any food around. I doubt that I left anything inside of here. Um, I have my sincerest doubts that that's the case. Are there any prepper caches around here? Is my next part. Yeah, I know you're hungry, man. We got to figure something out. We got to figure something out. The sun's coming up pretty soon. Yikes. I don't think there's... I think there was a deer back here somewhere. But frankly, whether or not we're going to be able to see him remains to be seen. I'm going to wait around for a little bit. We're going to get a little bit of hungry, and we're going to have our status fall off a little bit while we do this. But if I can get to the morning and I can get that deer that was back there behind the building, I think we'll be all right. Let me see if I can bypass a little bit of time here to get some sunlight. So with two hours, our status is definitely going to start to fold. There it goes. Okay, so we got sunlight now. How many bullets do I have left? We have what looks like nine bullets remaining. If I can get a deer with a good shot, we'll be all right. But that also depends if that deer has moved on over here. Uh, there was a deer back here. I think I spooked him when I was standing around this area. The other possibility is that we find ourselves a wolf. That's the other half. We don't have a lot of coal to play around with right now. Was there a... Is there anything back here? Like, if we're at the logging camp right here, it looks like there's a forest talker supply cache down that way to the south, which is kind of the direction that we're heading right now. I'm going to follow that through. Maybe we'll find, like, a can of baked beans or something in there to take the edge off. But, yeah, the food supply in this game has been the main thing that we've had to wrestle with the whole time. We got crows over there. Why did crows take off? Is there a corpse over there? That would also be something that I'd be in the market for. Worst case is that we cross over right here. We go across the mountains. And as I understand it, bears enjoy crossing mountains. So maybe he'll follow us over here. We get a couple more shots off on him. In the previous episode, we had whooped that bear's ass. That bear had had a rough day when he came out to encounter with us. And that is the gospel truth. That bear had a horrible day. I might be able to fish up some food is the other part that I'm thinking about for right now. We have a fire log with us, which will buy us about two hours of fishing time before we get ourselves into too much trouble. And if I can get three or four fish, that might work too. But I think we got to put the main objective on hold for right now. Otherwise, we just ain't going to make it. I'm getting low on painkillers, so if I can avoid like spraining my ankles or anything while I walk down this hill, that'd be fantastic. 
I'd prefer to keep that chance to a minimum. Oh, I went over the wrong hill. I went over the wrong hill. We need to go this way. Sorry, I just got my bearings. We need to go up and over this little hogback over here. And if we can make that, we'll be all right. Uh, this actually technically isn't a hogback. This is a gully, but... Thought I heard the sound of a bear roaring, sorry. This entire experience has made me kind of paranoid as far as the game is concerned. I'm doing my best to leave this section uncut because I think most of the interesting stuff that's going to happen is during the hunt of this bear. It's still kind of early on in the day. We are losing heat pretty rapidly, but I think we can make it to our destination. That's going to put us at the derailment if I come back over here, right? So logging camp, I come up over right here. Well, we'll see where we end up. Energy's not going to be that big of a concern, so I'm going to sprint this thing out just to give us a little bit of a competitive edge against the world. Our energy level is going to be dropping quick, though, because we're so hungry. So that is going to be a stipulation that we are going to have to mess with. It's just something that I think we're going to have to accept. I think if this is... I don't know if this is what we're looking for down here. Either way, keep an eye out for boxes that are along the base of these little stony areas. That's basically what we're looking for right now, is like random little caches that are stored up at the base of these. Now, I thought they were going to be really good, like prepper caches. As it turns out, oh, we're at the end of the creek right now. This is the end of the creek. Okay. That's fine. As long as you know where you are, it's not so bad. It's just when you have no idea where you are that it becomes kind of terrifying luckily that doesn't happen to me too often in this game we got a wolf over there I could shoot him nice and fresh for dinner but I think I'd rather try to save the bullets for right now I haven't seen any bears around not a single bear so far in this entire in this entire area sorry the music sounded particularly bear like how does music sound bear like I don't know it sounded like a bear okay the music sounded like a bear at least until, once they once they brought in the stringy instruments, it stopped sounding like a bear. But I thought maybe it was a bear for a second. I'm paranoid right now, man. I'm trying not to get eaten by a giant ursine slayer, dude. That thing's got an arrow sticking out of his booty hole. I don't want to fight anybody that got an arrow stuck in their booty hole and continues to be a threat. Like, if you stuck an arrow in my booty hole, I would be like, I am no longer a threat to you. I will let you go your way. Go in peace, my friend. This, this combat is done. You have proved yourself the better man. But in this case, that fool got an arrow in his booty hole, and he's still coming. That's a level of dedication and just primal earth strength. Like, primal natural strength that I just can't compete with. I just can't compete with it, so I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna keep on moving and doing my thing and just hoping that I don't get myself into trouble here. It looks like the bear can spawn over here, but I doubt he's over here. I think he's on the back end of the map right now. I don't think we're going to concern ourselves too heavily with his shenanigans at the moment. This will buy me some time. Yeah, go ahead and chop some lumber. There we go. We got lumber chopped now so that when we go out to fish, we can just sit next to a fire the entire time and not worry about it quite as much. Yeah, I know, but we're on our way out to a destination, dude. We're, you got to stop complaining. You got to look at the bright side. Always look on the bright side of life. I saw it. What was that over there? Did you see that? Something just disappeared on that side. There's a deer right there, provided that I'm able to shoot good. I don't know if it's worth the bullet. We're about to go fishing anyways. I don't know. I might take a shot at him. Oh, right over his head. And there goes another. All right, let's let that one go. We're not going to mess around with it anymore. I got to save some bullets for the bear. Good lord. Shot high both times. High both times, probably because I was shooting from a higher altitude, so I needed to aim lower. Uh, well, ballistics in this game have always been weird anyways. I would challenge just about anybody to play this game for like any reasonable amount of time and just be like, if you're not at point-blank range, I usually just assume the shot's not going to hit. That's usually, I don't know. I normally don't take risky shots like that one right there, unless I've just got an abundance of bullets, like I'm sitting on like 25 bullets and I can afford to lose a couple. Let's go on out and fish. It's fishy time, fishy time, gonna hide inside this little place. Gonna get a bunch of fish to feed my face, gonna be so good, oh yeah. Gonna be so good, oh yeah. Heal my bear wounds. Although my bear wounds look okay right now, I don't think my bear wounds are that bad at the moment. I don't think the bear can spawn out here, so I'm not gonna stress about it. So long as we've got like two bullets left, I think the bear is manageable. 
Can he even spawn anywhere over here? No, he can't, actually. So it doesn't look like he can come out here. We never found the key to any of those huts out there either, did we? Hmm. Kind of an interesting little side quest that I just, like, skipped entirely because... I don't know. We went through just about everything. I didn't see where the keys might be. I bet the keys are back if you go back around that way. There's a little cave with a dead guy in it. I bet you that's where the keys are. They're on the dead guy. I'll bet you almost anything. I will bet you, from what I've seen so far, that that is where they are. So, we've got cedar firewood. I am going to use accelerant on this because, frankly, we don't have time to mess around with this. I don't want to spend, like, an hour trying to light a fire. It's just not something that I'm into. And then we'll throw some fire logs and sticks on there. Cool. We golden G. Let's go ahead and break a hole in the ice real fast. Oh, we are going to lose status here. That's just something that we've got to accept. And we're going to lose a bunch of status, and then we got to go rest after we get done with this. But if we can catch a bass or two, it'll all be worth it. So let's just... Hey, there's a white fish. I'll take that. White fish are good. My hypothermia risk is gone. Oh, we got a smallmouth bass. Oh, yeah. It sucks for the bass, man. What if, like, somebody just classified you by, like, the size of one of your body parts? You know what I mean? They were just like, oh, you know, he's Big Nose Matt. I'm only bringing this up because it upsets me. Oh, it's moldy. That's not good. Please don't get food poisoning. I don't want you to get food poisoning right now. If you get food poisoning, I'm going to be upset with you, so please don't do it. Well, we've caught some fish. I mean, we still got time left, too. We might as well burn out the line. Let's go ahead and use the remainder of our line. We can make a little bit more from the stuff that we've got curing. I probably should have left my gut to cure over here so that it was just, like, readily active or whatever, but I just didn't do that because I'm a scrub. There we go. We had six hours of firewood. We got an hour left now. That's okay. Let's cook the bass first, because that's got the most amount of sustenance inside of it. And then we'll use the rest of the day to just kind of take R&R &R and take a load off and hope for the best. Get all this white fish cooked so that it's nice and light. Uh, fish loses about half of its weight when you cook it in this game. And so if you're a little bit stressed about carrying around a ridiculous amount of fish, you should probably cook it. That's going to be the way that it actually becomes like a manageable food source. Up until you cook it, it's kind of heavy. And no fun, although we are getting lamp oil, which is pretty sweet. I never knew that that was a thing that happened when you cooked fish in this game until I did this playthrough. Never knew. Never had any idea. I don't have enough time to get any water back up and in. I think what I'll probably do is resist the urge there. So, ooh, 1,500 calories from that bass right there. Hell yeah. That's one of them good ones right there. That's one of them good ones. We'll hold on to the rest of that fish, and that'll hopefully keep us charged up for a day or two. We've got a little bit of fishing left that we could possibly do. But... I don't know if it's the right thing to focus on right now. I don't know. I'm going to go check the derailment and see if the bear's there just to get one more shot off on him, maybe. That was the sound of a wolf, which would also be acceptable. If I could shoot a wolf right now, that'd be great. Shooting a wolf would be fantastic. It'd give us like another three kilograms of meat. A deer is taunting me. That deer is taunting me. I shot at that fool twice, and he's like, dude, I think I might be bulletproof. I think I might be bulletproof. And I'm like, you're not bulletproof. I just aim high, fool. You're not lucky. The gun just shot high because I was on a higher altitude when I shot at you. That's all that it was. That's all that it was. Or maybe just because the gun is wonky sometimes. There seems to be some variant in the way the bullet comes out of the barrel, and I've never been able to figure out exactly what it is. Like, it feels like sometimes the shot comes out perfectly straight. And then other times, it feels like the shot comes out all kinds of weird. And so, I don't know. I just don't tempt fate anymore with it. I'm going to go check the derailment over here for maybe that bear. If I can see him running around over there, that would actually make me feel a lot better. I don't feel like tracking his ass down. Oh, there's a cache over here. Did I pick that one up already, though? I don't know if I picked this one up already. We'll go look. I think I did. I think there was like a bullet and some disinfectant in it or something like that. But we can look again. We can look again. I don't know if this counts as like a real cache, in all honesty. So we got the derailment over here. Yeah, I think that's not it. I don't think that's it at all. I haven't gone and checked this area of the map either, but there's not really anything over there. Like, there's like a deer blind, I think, and that's pretty much the only thing that I can think of that might be over there. I think there's a deer blind, and that's about it. Are you over here, buddy? Deer bear, are you over here? Would you like me to shoot at you? I would like me to shoot at you because we have four shots on you and I need two more. If I can get two more shots on you, we can actually end this charade. Well, so far no bear. So I'm thinking what we're going to do, 
I think I'm going to make a hard cut for the lumber camp over there. We'll spend the night there, and then we'll start hitting some of the spots on that map to see where he's at. If I can, if I can get a couple bullets in him, we can finish this thing off. And I do legitimately think that that's our best strategy right now for advancing. I really don't want this to go on for more than, you know, an episode and a half. There's our camp right there. I don't see... So that's over on that side. If we got the logging camp on that side, it looks like the prepper cache. I'm going to look for it for a second. It looks like it's up the hill right here is what I'm thinking. I mean, we've got a little bit of time on our hands anyways to go and look, so I don't think it hurts. I don't think it hurts to have a little look-see and see if maybe we can pick up something to make our quest a little bit easier. It's either behind... It's not behind this rock because I don't think the angularity is right. Like, I don't think it's this rock right here. I think it's like a rock... That's over to the left-hand side over here. Like maybe that one right there. Or maybe one of these rocks over here. We've never had time to look for it in the daylight. We've never had like any real opportunity to see if we can find this prepper cache. So I think that's what I'm going to do because I'm all about that cash though. All about that cash though. Money, money, money. Stack it tic-tac-toe. Uh, let's see here. It's got to be one of these rocks right here. Like, this has legitimately got to be, like, the spot. It's either right here, although that's on the side with the derailment. So it's right at the base of the lookout, and the lookout's right there. So if you're looking at the lookout from this side, it's, like, two rocks down over here. So it's got to be one of these right here, I think. It's got to be like right in Doug on this side, maybe. This looks like the spot. Like the only other possible place it could be is like right over there. Although it looks like it might be... So with the rail camp... So we got the logging camp right there. With that right there. It might be behind one of these beddies over here. I'll try it. We'll take a look. We got like an hour to kill anyway, so why bother? And then we'll jump out tomorrow morning and we'll try to find that bear a couple of times and just give him the bucka. Give him the business. Let him find out. Because that bear don't know. We all about business, G. We all about business. I think I found a crate over here. Yeah, there it is. I think this is our guy right here. Damn. I bet it just has bullets in it, though. Got that bullet. Oh, a rifle cleaning kit, an MRE, some ski gloves. That was not nearly as valuable as I thought it was going to be. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about a good thing. We got an MRE, which secures our food supply for a little while. I'm going to sleep the night off, and then in the morning, we're going to find ourselves a bar. Let's get back out here in the field. We got a bear to hunt today. I was noticing on the MRE it says military grade, and I know some people use military grade to denote that something is like of good quality, but all that military grade means is that it was made by the lowest bidder. That's all you need to know about it, at least in the United States that's what it means. If you've got a thing that says that it's military grade, it doesn't mean that it's super awesome. It means that it was produced by somebody who bidded the lowest, and was like, I can do this the cheapest with the least amount of stuff. I don't think there's anything else in here that we want to mess around with for a little bit. So let's get back out on the road again. We'll start hitting some of these bear spots and see if he shows up. A little chilly outside, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so bear spots that are nearby. It looks like he can actively spawn like right here. Or at least this is one of his patrol points. So we'll check it real fast. See if there's anything moving around over here. If there's not, I think we'll double back. We'll probably check the derailment. The thing is, we lost sight of the bear because I had to go hunt food. Like, I just ran out of food. Like, just not enough calories to get us through the day. For right now, though, we've got a nice little buffer zone that I think is going to help us out a little bit. He's pretty wounded at this point. This bear is pretty busted up. Like, he's only got a couple of hits left in him. So, my thought is that if I can just run him down real quick, I think we'll be golden. I don't see him over here, though. I don't see any blood stains or anything else around either. And normally that's fairly indicative as you'll see the blood spots on the ground before you see him. 
So you'll know that he's in the reach. Oh, there he is right there. Shit. Okay, back to the wood pile. Back to the wood pile. We gotta set ourselves up for a good shot right here. Alright, so here he comes. What we want to do now... There's a hit. And then we're gonna climb up on here. So that he can't get at us. Yup, carry on, bear. Carry on. You walk your ass away. Ain't got nothing to say to you. And that's gonna be our fifth encounter. I'm gonna jump on down and we're gonna go for the sixth. Let's get this guy knocked out. It's time for us to do our thing. We're gonna clock this game and we're gonna get him. He tries to come after us. Oh, this fool's gonna get blasted on so hard. We're gonna be like, brap, brap. And he's gonna be like, oh shit, they shot me with an Uzi. You don't hunt bears with an Uzi? And I'd be like, shit, we keep it real out here. I put the machine on you. Put the thing on you. Put the tool on you. Just brap, -a -da -da. Extra bullet right there? Yeah, sure. Sounds great to me. Thumb another one on into that receiver. I'm gonna follow these tracks because this dude has run out of health bar. This dude's health bar is finished. Let's go do this thing. He's taking a lot of bullets too because I shot him twice like the first two rounds. So this dude's eating about like nine bullets at this point. I don't see a whole lot of ways that this dude stays up off his ass in the future. But oh my god, it's so foggy right now. I don't like this at all. This fogginess is not a good look. It's not a good look for a second. But I think this should be it. Let's go find this guy. I'm going to track him. He's got to be bleeding pretty good at this point. He's got to be bleeding pretty good. Where are you at, bear? Where are you at? You can have like a final showdown on the mountain or something like that. Oh, he's got the high ground. You know what that means. This bear is going to be like, I have the high ground. And I'm like, you underestimate my power. When in reality, my power is actually fairly always here. Ugh, this blind hill. Where's this cat at? Oh, between the fog and the hill. I do not like this. Where is he? There he is. Got him! And down he goes. One less bear to bother the world. So there's his ear. Can I harvest anything? Oh my god, 33 kilograms of meat. Good lord. I could take his hide. I'm gonna say go ahead and get like 4 kilograms off of him. I don't really think I'm gonna be able to carry that much more. So we might as well just take that. There we go. Cold's still looking good. How's our weight looking right now? Is our weight looking good or are we like way over? We're not way over. How much? Oh, there's 900 calories in those? Give me like four more. Something's gotta go. There we go. And let's head back to the old man's hut. Uh, we're basically in the region anyway, so he's not too far out. We've got enough stuff to go with. Always make sure you take bear hides, especially in survival mode. Uh, take the time to get a bear hide. Bear hides are one of the hardest currencies to come by. And if you have bear hides, two of them, I think if I remember, you can make a bear hide bedroll that gives you like a plus 20 degrees. So basically you can sleep out in the middle of a blizzard with good clothing. Like you can sleep in the middle of an open field in the middle of a blizzard without taking like any damage. It's pretty sweet. Let's get back to the old man's place and see what he has to say to us. So, now that we've taken care of the old man's white whale, we'll see what's going on here. I'd be kind of upset, though, if I was Captain Ahab and somebody came out and, like, sniped the bear out from underneath me. You know what I mean? Sniped my whale. I wonder how happy about this he's going to be. I better get a thank you. I shot a bear, bro. I did some straight gangster shit. Bear. You damn bear here. Now, can I get the hell out of here? Ha! <laughs> Holy... I wasn't sure you had it in you, Mackenzie. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. Shit. The old bear gone. Finally. I'm actually gonna miss that guy. Well, maybe you can visit him and talk about it sometime. Meanwhile, I've done everything you've asked. It's time for you to do something for me. Help me get out of here. All right, pilot. You've earned it. Here's the thing. The old Carter Dam, it's a mess. Multiple quakes have left it pretty unstable. Nobody really goes in there anymore. 
Upper floors aren't too bad, but it gets hairy deeper in. If you can navigate through the guts of it, you'll find yourself on the other side of Carter River. Follow the river, and you'll find your way to a place called Pleasant Valley. Big Mother Weather serve a shortwave at a place called Signal Hill. Should be powerful enough to reach Perseverance Mills. If your friend isn't there, at least you can get a message out. No guarantee the Aurora will power the radio, but it's your best shot. And if it doesn't, at least you'll be on the right track. Follow the road north, and you'll start seeing signs leading the way to Perseverance Mills. It'll take you days to get there on foot, but at least now you have a fighting chance. Okay, got it. Through the dam, follow the river, find the radio tower. After this bear business, this sounds easy. Why didn't you just tell me this in the first place? First, I had to be sure you'd make it. Make it where? I need you to do something for me. Get a message to someone. It's important. More important than you know. I don't get it. You don't have to get it, Mackenzie. You just have to do it. Listen carefully. An old friend of mine lives alone in a cabin in the hills near Perseverance. Goes by the name Atwood. People in town will know how to find them. You need to get them this message as soon as possible. Do you understand, Mackenzie? It's important. It might be the most important thing. I already told you that I don't get it, but I'll take the message. What is it? Wintermute. What's Wintermute? That's the message. You want me to find this Atwood person and tell them a single word? Yes. It's important. Don't you get it? Ah, oh, damn it. To hell with it. I'll do it myself. Ah! Oh, damn. Uh, are you okay, Jeremiah? You don't sound so good. You have to take that message, Mackenzie. Promise me. Okay, okay. Take it easy. I promise. I'll deliver your message. Be careful. I didn't keep you alive this long to see you die from making dumb mistakes. You still have a long way to go. But first, the dam. The keypad to the control room. It won't work without power. You'll need to get in there when the aurora is in the sky. Whatever you do, once you get inside Carter, you need to get out before daylight. Otherwise, you may get stuck in there for good. The code is... Jeremiah? The code is... Seven, six, one, one. Got it. Are, are you gonna be okay? I can come back for you if I find better meds. No. No, I'll be okay. A couple of weeks of going nuts in here and I'll be good as new. Then again, if you have any of that morphine left. Right. Get on out of here, Mackenzie. Like you keep saying, your friend may be out there waiting. I hope she has more sense than you. Who said anything about a she? Wedding ring. And that look in your eye when you talk about her. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Jeremiah. You too, Mackenzie. Remember Wintermute. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Good luck, pilot. You're going to need it. And now, I have my own path to tread. What was that, though? My bedroll was on the floor. My bedroll was on the floor, though. My bedroll was on the floor! How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? What was inside of there? I need to know. Give my bedroll back. Yes. No, don't sleep. Damn it! Well, this is basically... 
I think, the end of the episode. My name is Splattercat. We killed a bear. Hooray for us. I will see you all in the next episode. We are awesome. I will see you all next time. Hi, do, everybody.